Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Heli Cools Helipad. I'm Dave Anderson. Well, it looks like I've got the part ready to go, so I'm going to be heading off to the powder coater. i uh, got a good buddy, his name is Jethro, and he is going to powder coat this thing, and it is going to look beautiful. You guys, stay tuned, we're going to have some fun. Well, hey guys, I'm over here at at uh, Jethro's place, and let's see what uh, what he's got going on over here. Well, it looks like he's got something very interesting. Uh, I think this is the the oven that he uses for powder coating. It's like a 55 gallon drum. Got some hooks on the bottom. Of course, it's uh, insulated. Comes off the ground a little bit. Let's see what it looks like underneath there. And there is a hole. And I'll bet you that he puts a stove under there. To get heat into this thing. Looks like some welded up wrought iron. And sure enough, a little hole in the bottom. Well that's that's pretty cool. Well, I'm still not sure where Jethro is. Got to be around here somewhere. Well, it looks like he's got his machine all set up and a place where we can. Oh, he's got the part already hung. Hung by the ceiling, and the lead is already attached. So, well, it looks like there's a big, nice catch place for the powder to go. It doesn't get stuck onto the part. And he's got this pretty well set up in here. Looks like the gun. Just got to add the, the uh, powder coat. Screw it onto that lid. Turn the machine on. It's a pretty cool setup. I still got to find Jethro. Well, I guess we'll go back over here and see if Jethro is uh, back over here by the oven. Not sure where he's... Oh, well, here he is. Well, hello, Dave. Hey, How Jethro. How are you doing today? Uh, well, we're just about it. ready to get started. I got the grill. All right. Which, of course, it takes white gas. Right. Uh, similar to kerosene. Uh -huh. Don't put any of that uh, unleaded in there unless you got a dual fuel, which this is not. Right on, right on. Also got me the temperature probe, which shows in Fahrenheit. I can put that to Celsius, but just Fahrenheit, it's easier. 400 degrees Fahrenheit is what we need. Yep. Are you ready to start this thing? I mean, I'm, I'm about ready to go over and start powder coating if you're ready. Well, heck yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I know what you might be thinking, but old Jethro, he's a pretty smart guy, and he gets a lot of work done. So don't judge a book by its cover. Hey, we're destroying stereotypes here all the time and having fun doing it. You guys, keep watching. Well, you gotta set the pressure regulator for no more than 30 PSI. And you can eat that pretty easy just by setting up a blowgun on your pressure regulator. I give it a pretty heavy spray of 91% alcohol, and that gets all that scum and stuff off of there. Now then, I shouldn't have to say it, but you need to wipe this down thoroughly. Thoroughly. Some little bit of goo that might be on the side of here. Get all that off of there before you go hanging this up ready to fire to. Well, we're about ready, so here we go. Pressurizing. Well, 
Oh, you see that? I got a little bit close and it's giving me a snap. You want to keep this probe a little bit farther away from this where you get your foot on the pedal because it will snap. You see the power going through it. I'm going to flip this thing around being very, very careful not to touch anything because this is just powder. You touch it, you're going to have to redo it. So make sure not to touch any of this. This would be really bad right now if this was to fall because I'd have to start all over again. That would not make me a happy camper. Very heavy. That's looking pretty good right there. I'm going to try to get a little bit more underneath there to make sure that it's good and thick. And I'm going to start hauling this over to the oven. Now that I got me a nice coat on there, but you know, this area here, I got to weld this onto the bumper or the mud flap bar, whatever you want to call it. So this is just a little brush, and you can just take and brush this right off. Just like that. You know, grinding or anything, just brush it right off. I told you if you uh, had anything that touches this and pulls that off, you got to do it over. But, you know, this is the time you're going to take some of this thing off that you don't want the powder coat to be on. Well, it's time to hump this thing over to the oven. This thing is heavy too. Get it off of here. Get it up. Don't make sure to touch anything. Careful, careful, light, careful. Almost to the oven. And I need to get it up in there without touching anything. Got my son helping me. Get it on the center hook. It's on there fine. Nobody touched anything. Setting that lid down nice and easy. And it fits just like a glove, just like I meant it to be that way. Well, I actually did. Set my thumb a couple aside. You're gonna set your gas can along with his weight. Temperature probe. And the thermal couple. Here it should go. Now the gas is up inside there. It got to gasify, so it's not just liquid coming out, and it'll start blue flame. As soon as that blue flame starts in there. Set this thing right underneath, crank that thing up on high, and it will start to heat up inside that oven and get it up to over 400. Should take about a full tank full of gas to get up there too. All right, looks like it's almost ready. Make sure that is good and centered. All right, that's about a minute, about a minute maybe. 
by an inch and a half. Already up 150 and above. Looks like it's going real nice. All right, at the two minute mark, I went ahead and put that up on high. Woo wee! Climbing fast. Well, there it is now above 400. Now remember, it had to heat up that big huge hunk of steel. And uh, it's 400, about 410 now. And it's at about 20, 21 minutes. And it's now above 400, now 415. So this definitely gets her done. Once everything is heated up to temperature, you got to keep an eye on it because that big hunk of steel is heated up. It doesn't take as much BTUs to keep it hot and it will keep climbing and climbing. So you got to keep adjusting that uh, temperature or that uh, gas stove down a little bit and uh, monitor it because it'll just keep on going. I think I've, I have, I have turned that gas stove down probably five times now and it just uh, keeps on climbing up pretty soon I'm going to be on low and it'll just hold about 400. I've only got another minute to go so I ain't too worried about it. It's uh, now been oh about uh, 35 minutes, 36 minutes coming up here. Been uh, 15 minutes at above 400 so I'm about ready to shut this uh, stove off and let this thing cool off nice and slow well that powder coating really turned out nice and sharp it looks beautiful very even coat now this is not a flat black but it is close it is uh, I believe a satin or a uh, matte matte black so you can see that uh, area where I brushed it off nice and clean ready for weld it's still just a little bit hot to the touch you know but uh, it's at least uh, down to where I can touch it now but it is beautiful well, let's come back from the farm store ah yikes $25.71 for these four bolts and these do have the locking um, locking nuts so ah, crazy prices well yeah just got back from Jethro's and he did a fantastic job on this powder coating. This is amazing. It looks great. It's going to look great on the back of Malachi.
right, guys, there you have it. Got in there with some flat black. Spray painted up where I welded so it doesn't start to rust. And I even sprayed down the tube. Get some paint in there where I had ground the paint off. So that'll do this project. Hey guys, I'm so excited that you guys were able to spend this time with me and thank you for staying with it this long. Uh, try to keep these videos down to about 10 minutes. So, hey, I, I just am stoked that I've uh, got this accomplished. I hope that you really like this video, put a lot of time and effort into it, and introduced a new character. Hope you, hope you enjoyed that. All right, I'm signing out for now, guys. You guys be safe out there, and God bless. Hey guys, thanks for watching the channel. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, click on that like button right down there. If you'd like to subscribe, click on my face. And as always, leave a comment. That is how you support this channel. Thank you so very much. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, don't forget to click another video now.